I have a grade four glioblastoma multiform. It's an aggressive incurable form of brain cancer. I was told that I had five to eight months without treatment and possibly wouldn't survive a year even if I had treatment. And in April of last year, I celebrated my sixth year. So I'm doing really good. My tumor remains stable. And I never would have thought prior to getting sick that I had that much strength. The hardest thing about getting sick is when you have kids because you can't be the mom that you thought you were, that you wanted to be, because you're trying to stay alive. I always get emotional when it comes to Sarah, really. When I first found out I had a brain tumor, I, Sarah and my husband brought me to the ER. They said, you know, you have a large mass in your brain, and it was my birthday. And I had had my mom come and pick up uh, Sarah at the hospital and take her home because she had school the next day. When she woke up the next morning, I thought, oh, we've got to tell her, we've got to tell her, because she didn't know. And she came down the stairs and she said, you know, happy birthday, mommy. And it was so sweet and it was so sad. Every year, her and her friends made me a card. That year was no exception. She came home with the card because I didn't tell her until after school. She knew about cancer, and so it was hard to tell her that I had cancer because in our family, when you have cancer, you die. And uh, she was 12, and I thought that was tough. That was a really tough time. Because of the brain radiation, I have a bald spot on my head, so I have to wear a little hair thing just to cover it so that if the wind blows, nobody sees that I have a bald spot on my head. But that's easy. Um... You know, I'm, I've had a lot of side effects from treatment, but I'm doing really good, so I can't, I just can't complain. Well, since I, my daughter's in school and I'm home, my favorite thing, the highlight of my day is walking my dog, Shelby. I just love walking her in the neighborhood. It's just, I love it. And I look forward to it every day. It's hard for the caregiver to stay there all the time and be with you, but a dog doesn't care. I had another dog that was really a huge part of my recovery. And she died last year. So now I think that's why I really value my time walking Shelby. It's the highlight of my day.